Hello my fellow Nuggets, I'm Mr. Church. Before we begin today's video, I thought I'd give you guys some good news, which is rare for me. Feels gross coming out of my mouth, but here it is. In the PTS, Bethesda decided it would be okay if we could finally stack poles again, like the good lord intended us to do. This will allow us to build things once more in the wasteland. Not only that, but they said, you know what? I guess you can put defensive walls on upper floors. Why not? And here's a door for all your trouble. This door is a door, I guess. Even though it's a wall. But, here you go. Now let's get in to today's video. Now, this is a barn set. The barn set in Fallout 4, and the barn set that we know and love in Fallout 76. As you can see, it's very run down and rustic, and it fits in very well with what's going on in the wasteland. It's all rubbish, the paint's peeling off, you can see the wood underneath is all rotten. Over here we have a bigger version of it. See, we've got this nice big sliding barn door. Very, very cool, and it's like it's an extremely immersive texture. And one of the things I love the most about building with this set is you can just throw- wait a second. This isn't the barn set from Fallout 76. No, 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 wait, wait. The barn set from Fallout 76. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what it looks like. You know, that's much better because uh, the, uh, why does it look like this? And then it has this roof piece, which, that, yeah, it looks good though. I mean, why is it bright red, but the windows are still smashed out? I don't, maybe, maybe, no, 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 that's not, no, 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 no. That looks horrible. So I thought today uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to build a barn the way that Todd Howard intended us to do. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, today I'll be building um, on this little hill here next to the field. If you fast travel to Sylvia Homestead, you can just run up the hill and then put your camp down right here. And we'll be building our barn over here, I guess. To start off, I, I just want to say this build has to be three blocks wide or an odd number because we have that goofy looking roof piece which needs to go centered so we can't have an even side. So we're going to do three bricks wide. I'm not worried about, yeah, this this thing. Uh, I'm not worried about which, uh, which way these foundations are pointing because I'm going to be keeping the inside of it, uh, this basic concrete, because uh, the atom shop bits we have. I don't think any of them really would work very well inside as a barn floor. Now, I'm keeping it small. The reason I'm keeping it small is one of the things that triggers me the most about the barn set is it doesn't come with a fucking wa uh, barn door. Why? And I, I, I want to say this, I, uh, I grew up in a hayfield. I know what barns look like, and guess what they all have in common? A big-ass door. Because a lot of times, you put equipment and livestock inside your barn. That's what it was actually built for, you know? So you need a bigger door than an average human, so that you can fit that stuff in and out of your barn. And Bethesda has these barn doors, even if they're not functional, you could still give us an open barn door that we could throw up there on the front of our barn, and have the barn door just always be open. That would be better. But they don't give us that option. Instead, we have a singular door. Even though the warehouse gets its own door, they don't think that they can manage giving us a barn door, even though it's in the game already. That's way too much work. I mean, while well, we can give you new uh, doors with new animations, like the communist bunker door, the vault tech door, the Nuka-Cola door, but we can't figure out how to make a barn door, even though we literally have it inside our files because we put it in the game already for you to look around and walk in. Now that's too much work, you're stuck with this. That's 
the biggest thing. You can't build a, a realistic looking barn without a barn door. So I kept this very small because I don't want it to be too obvious that there's a gaping giant wall missing a door. Now gaping doesn't make any sense. Don't worry about the words I'm saying. When did I ever say that I graduated high school? Did I make that claim? No, that was your assumption that you jumped to. So thank you. Let's let's uh, keep this triculating along. Now, it's not that this this set is repulsive, regurgitating, and ugly to behold. Yes, it is all those things. But that's not what causes this deep-seated hatred down in my soul. No, the thing that pisses me off is Bethesda went out of their way to make this ugly. They have, as I've already shown, a good-looking barn set. And when I say good, I mean horrible. But we want horrible. This is the fucking wasteland. We came out here after the bombs fell, and we built this thing. Now, we didn't build it, we found it. So why is it bright goddamn red? This is literally cleaner than my car that is in the driveway and I took to the car wash yesterday. But, not just that, but the windows for some reason are still completely destroyed and they're all 9% tint. What? Are the cows smoking pot as they drive along? We don't need black windows. Why? Barns don't have black windows. Who thought of that? I think a good idea for your next community trip would take the devs out to the countryside and have them take one fucking look at a barn. Just one glance, a passing glance would do the trick, I think. It's enough that we don't have any barn-shaped roofs. That's too complicated. But I could, I could get by if the texture itself wasn't regurgitating and repulsive. Making this video is making me want to throw up. Before you go into the comments section and tell me that I sound like I'm bitching, I already know that. That's the point of this video, Jimmy. I, I don't like the barn set. That's the point. It's a bad barn set. Bad. Now, I eventually will move these uh, roof pieces. I... I I put these roof pieces on and I realized that's cheating. I need to use the roof pieces that came with the game and not use Adam Shop pieces for this structure because I'm kind of trying to show that when the game launched, this is what we had to work with and this is what we could make and it doesn't look good. So I'm going to switch all these green bits out. Don't you worry about that. And I am playing around with the window bits. It's a little hard to make this look passable. It's really weird to work with these pointy roof bits because they don't make any sense no matter how you uh, try it out. Now, I'm fine. Like, I'm not angry about it. Like, it, it, I'm chill as can be. But why? I, I'm just mostly... I'm not mad. I'm hurt. You went... Because, listen, we had, when this game launched, four sets wall sets to work with and this was one of them so you could build a brick blob you could build a shack of shit you could build a metal cube you could build a warehouse or garage which they gave you a door for but you really couldn't use these because you'd throw up now i know some people love the barn set but the reasons they love the barn set have nothing to do with the texture and in fact are only used when you can't see the texture and those two ways are, one, they use the half wall of the barn set for uh, putting walls together and glitching things together uh, to merge them because the barn set has, for some reason, weird hitboxes so you can, you can break it and intersect them easier. And the other way is they like using these doorways for double walls because it has that nice white trim. So in other words, this set is good as long as you can't see it, is what you're getting at. And if that's the case, your texture is a failure. So, uh, thank you.
Look at all these doors. Those all have their own new animation. It would not be difficult to give us a fucking barn door. But I, I don't know. Who am I to judge? I don't make video games. Surely it's harder than it looks. But why did you already have it in the files and then go out of your way to create it so that it looks worse than ever before? Sorry, I just need to uh, get this off my chest. So, I, I, I understand. Uh, wait, no I don't. Why did you make it red? It's red as, as literal. This is the... I'm fine. Listen. The thing about the barn set is anyone that puts a bit of barn wall into their build immediately degrades the quality of the entire build. Because the red of it is too red, but the windows are too destroyed to go with how red the windows are. If, uh, not the windows, the paint. If, if the paint was that bright red, these windows would not be that destroyed. And don't even start with your whole, it was a, it was the shockwave from the bombs. Because the shockwave from the bombs literally hasn't smashed all the windows in all the other buildings in the world. And it hasn't created a 15% tint either. But listen, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to make this barn set be as barney as I can. And then uh, we will reevaluate and see what we what we think. Um, but keep in mind, let's look at what they get to play with. Uh, this is their barn set that they get to use, which fits in perfectly with the lore of the game. And this is what they gave us. That's so nice. Thanks for going out of your way to make our experience worse. Thank you. Let's see if we can spruce this up with a little, uh, decoration. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Shazam! And now it's amazing what a little bit of elbow grease and four million dollars worth of mic microtransactions can really do for you. That really brings it out. And keep in mind that the way that I fixed this was by making it as small as possible and then burying it in cosmetic items so you can't see it anymore. That's how you make the barn set look approachable. How nice, how quaint. And remember, it does look weird. I made it this shape so that it could be as small as possible and I could use as few barn walls as possible. Now inside we have this beautiful area cluttered up to oblivion. Are we have our pet cow. We have an overgrown area with a vending machine in it for no reason. We've got this with stuff we're growing. Hello, Brahmin. We have a random man standing next to a medical area. Hmm, seems to be growing well. And over here we have, uh, uh, apparently my stash box and a radio. Uh, Solomon Hardy. I'm not confused why you're in my barn, I'm just curious. Up here I could have decorated and cluttered a lot more, but listen, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for, uh, being my therapist and listening to me while I go through this hard time. I'm going to be releasing a video coming soon where I'm going to try to build a barn without using the barn set, and then I'll let you guys decide which one looks better. I'm Mr. Church, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and hate me in the comments section, I will see you in the next video.